Hey everyone, welcome to a late night edition of Wild Breakaway. With my green lay, I'm Audra Martin. At this point, it's actually an early morning edition. <laughs> Unfortunately for the Minnesota Wild, a late night turned early morning is a losing effort tonight against the Vegas Golden Knights. The Knights pick up their first ever regulation win against Minnesota. And unfortunately, this is a Minnesota team that is banged up and they clearly are missing some of those key players. Yeah, and when you're missing key players, there's players that play in certain roles that you would be able to put them in or play them a certain amount of minutes and and now uh, because of the depleted lineup you bring guys up you put them into roles and you play certain guys more minutes and in, in bigger roles than, than maybe they have in the recent past that's fine that's how you get better that's how you show the depth of your organization but for the Minnesota Wild what I do like is the fact that they scored first they, they came out they started to play a good game plan yeah it got away from them a little bit but they've never stopped fighting and they fought all the way to the last second and that's what I I like to see that kind of character uh, you know by the time the end of the season rolls around if you keep uh, exuding that kind of character it's going to pay off for you you're going to win more games than you lose when you play games and never quit yeah, it was Zach Parisi who had the late goal for the Minnesota Wild to pull them within one. Unfortunately, the effort falls short for the team. Vegas scores three goals on Minnesota for the first time ever and again getting their first regulation win against Minnesota. A couple firsts tonight for the Wild as well. They get their first five-on-three goal of the season, also their first six-on-five goal as well. That power play goal here tonight was a big one, but it was just one for five on the power play. You need more than that to get the job done, especially against a team like Vegas. This is a game you need two goals on the power play. You know, when you get five power play attempts, um, uh, you, you need opportunity. You, you need those things to go in. And it's like when we got the six and five, all we were doing is exactly what we were supposed to be doing on the power play, and we end up scoring a goal. So now the Wild wrap up this latest three-game road trip Thursday night as they head to the desert to take on the Arizona Coyotes for the third and final time this season. Both games so far have gone in favor of Minnesota, but they're both close games. First a 4-3 to three win and then a 3-2 to two win. But now this is a different Arizona Coyotes team because <laughs> now they have Taylor Hall on the roster and we all know what a difference maker he can be. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a guy who's excited to come in and play and a guy who flew all night just to get there so he could play in this game, a game which they, which they won against the Sharks uh, tonight. So that puts them uh, briefly back up on top in the Pacific Division. This is a different Coyotes team. I mean, they have the scoring they, and they and they added to it with Taylor Hall. They also have the goaltending. Darcy Kemper is second in save percentage at 93.5. He's second in goals against with a sub two goals against average. He gets good goal support. So this team is different, and, and I think they're that's why they acquire a guy like Taylor Hall because they say, hey, you know what? We're starting to show signs of a team that can win. Uh, so we keep acquiring players when we can, and what they give up are prospects pretty much. So this is going to be a tough team from here to the end of the season. Minnesota Wild, as you mentioned, uh, facing the last time uh, the Arizona Coyotes, so mm -hmm. they've won two games. Why not pick off another one? The best thing about that is if they do get better for the rest of the season, guess who the Arizona Coyotes are going to be beating? They won't be beating the Wild. They'll be beating all the teams that are trying to catch the Wild or trying to stay in front of the Wild. So beat them one last time, finish the road trip off with a W, and then let the Coyotes go to work on the rest of the league yeah. the rest of the year. And then the Wild can come <laughs> home, and hopefully by the time they come home, they will be a bit healthier because no. the injuries, unfortunately, just continue to be a tough draw for this team. But we'll see what's in store Thursday night against Arizona. We hope you join us then. For Mike Greenlay, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us tonight on Wild Breakaway.